For some of you out there, customer experience transformation is an idea. It's a vision or a concept that's shared at big meetings. For others, it's in your job title. You're tasked with the audacious goal of taking an outdated customer experience and bringing it into something that hopefully resembles the 21st century by the time you reach deployment. Whether CX transformation is the air you breathe or a box on buzzword bingo, the reality is that the contact center is often the last place to be touched by any transformation. It's an area that's locked down by SLAs and deflection goals. So how do you shift the culture and makings of a decades-old machine? Well, it's definitely easier said than done. But today, we're talking about the exact steps you need to take to make CX transformation a reality in your contact center. Welcome to Snackable CX, where we break down our best resources into bite-sized guidance on how to stand out and be known for your customer experience. I'm Sam Salerno, here from Mindful, the best-in-class total experience solution that aims to add kindness to your tech stack. To bring customer experience transformation to your contact center, you'll need to look at your organization from three distinct perspectives. Leadership, operations, and your contact center agents. Then, you'll need to start implementing changes based on a singular goal making the customer experience substantially better to the benefit of your customers, your agents, and ultimately, your bottom line. So let's take it from the top and start with leadership. The first step here is to craft a company-wide vision statement that will lead your customer experience transformation. Notice, we didn't say a contact center or customer support department vision statement. Real customer experience transformation starts at the top with the leadership team, then trickles down to every other aspect of your business. If leadership or other departments aren't on board with a customer experience vision, then the plane will never leave the ground. Here's a prime example of a company-wide vision statement from the Ritz-Carlton. The Ritz-Carlton experience enlivens the senses, instills well-being, and fulfills even the unexpressed wishes and needs of our guests. You've likely heard stories about the extremely high level of customer service at Ritz-Carlton hotels. It's even said that employees can spend up to $2,000 on a customer just to make their day, no questions asked. Jeff Hargett, the Senior Corporate Director for the Ritz-Carlton Leadership Center, said this, The one thing that impacts each and every customer, the one thing that is exclusively ours to control and that we can utilize to stake our claim of excellence in the experience arena, is our service. It's this level of understanding and fostering customer service that sets companies like the Ritz-Carlton apart. Here are a few things to keep in mind when crafting your own customer-centric vision statement. It isn't enough to say, we create better customer experiences. You need to have a clear vision of the end result or how this will impact your customer's experience with your brand. Second, look back at your company's values and let them guide your statement. Don't try to be something you're not. If you claim you're all about customer service, but your words or actions don't line up, customers will see right through it. And third, develop policies that put the customer at the center of your business. Okay, at this point, I'm sure a lot of you without a C in your title are probably saying, Sam, this sounds great, but I don't have any say in my company's vision. And listen, I get that. But transformation has to start somewhere. Craft your statement and try to bring it up the chain as far as you can go. If buy-in ends with a director or a VP, that's okay. Being aligned in at least one department is better than none. Building out a customer-first vision statement will help naturally bring all your other business departments, including your contact center, in line with the ultimate goal, providing a customer experience that keeps them coming back for more. The next thing we need to consider is operations. There are so many directions we can go here but I want us to focus on one key area that customer-centric businesses need to excel in if they want a true customer experience transformation. And that is seamless omni-channel support. Omni-channel support means showing up for your customers on the comms channels they prefer, whether that's web, voice, SMS, chat, or others. Verint, a leading customer engagement company, published a study that found that 55% of contact centers use at least seven channels in their CX programs. The difficulty, however, is the ability to orchestrate customer interactions across all those channels. 
And this is where businesses can get omnichannel support very wrong. On paper, omnichannel seems easy. Just have agents ready on voice, sitting behind their keyboards, or tapping away on their phones on social media, right? And while this isn't entirely wrong, it does present the risk of developing walled gardens of support. Scenarios where agents in one channel can't quickly and easily transfer cases from channel to channel without making the customer jump through hoops. And ultimately, this means customers can't move smoothly between experiences. So when it might seem like they have a choice to text or to call, it's just an illusion of choice if they actually have to start over. The key to omnichannel support is to create seamless transitions from web to text to talk and giving your contact centers the data they need to continue keying up operations and improving agent performance. When you've got an omnichannel strategy in place and can facilitate customers jumping from channel to channel, you can reduce the number of siloed agents while better meeting customers' expectations for a seamless experience. Yes, this is tough to accomplish, and I know it sounds more like utopia than reality. Or at least you're sitting there calculating all the steps, tech, and money you need to make it happen. But we help clients move from a channel experience to a true multi-experience all the time, so we know it's possible. And it starts with a disruptor like you that's bought in and ready to make it happen. And that leads us to the final consideration, agents and technology. Your contact center agents are the lifeblood of your customer experience strategy. But in a world of AI, chatbots, IVR, and self-service solutions, agents are often seen as the last resort for customer service. Well, we will tell you right now, that is the furthest thing from the truth. Statista found that 42% of consumers in the United States prefer picking up their phones to reach customer support rather than rely on digital channels, which come in second at 38%, and email, which comes in third at 20%. And when a customer has an urgent or high-value need, they want the assurance and confidence that comes from speaking to a real human, not a robot. So, to bring customer experience transformation to your organization, you need to focus on fostering engaged agents. A study by the Aberdeen Group discovered that when a company's agents are engaged with their work, they retain 91% of their customers. Now, lots of companies out there will say that the answer to engagement is incentives or proper monitoring. Of course, there's always training, and that's nothing new. And yes, that training is vital. But if every customer a representative handles is upset, there's simply no amount of training that can raise their spirits or make their work environment lighter. And this is where customer and employee experience overlap. Giving a customer choice and convenience in how they contact your brand will improve their disposition, bringing a more mindful workday to your agents. And in terms of agent mental health, we've seen drastic improvements when contact centers adopt a heavy callback model. We had one Fortune 500 insurance client recently move to a 100% callback model, which means their customers don't even have the option to wait on the hold line. Instead, they enter a virtual queue and receive a callback from the next available agent or at a later time in the day or week that works better for them. The results have been staggering. Customers aren't sitting on hold for hours on end, so when they finally do connect with an agent, they're calmer and easier for them to work with. And the ability to schedule callbacks only during contact center hours means agents are able to go home on time rather than trying to catch up on infinite hold queues. Agent engagement and happiness soared, and it was a customer-centric piece of tech that saved the day. This kind of tech is a win-win for businesses. It increases customer satisfaction and helps your agents feel more engaged in their jobs, creating a positive sentiment cycle that feeds itself. And at the end of the day, that's exactly what customer experience transformation is all about. When you take the time to realign your vision statement, reorient your omni-channel strategy, and take care of your customers and agents, you're on the right track to creating winning experiences that wow customers and turn them into consistent, repeat business. We know it isn't easy. You have tons of buy-in and challenges to overcome on your path to transformation. So if you need help, hit us up here at Mindful. Our solutions team lives and breathes experience transformation every day. And even if you just need an idea of where to start, we'd love to help. But transformation usually starts with a disruptor moving to make it happen. So here's your nudge. Get out there and make it happen. 
This episode has been adapted from the article, How to Bring Customer Experience Transformation to Your Contact Center, which can be found on the Mindful CX resource library at getmindful.com. We publish new, snackable CX episodes every week, so be sure to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. See you next time.